Hey guys, today I wanted to talk to you about a new mod that I did to the GR Corolla. I currently have just the driver's side installed, and it is an LED door handle light for the interior. Now these have been around for a long time, especially for the 2019 and up hatchback, but because the pre-facelift hatchback had blue interior lighting, the door handles were blue as well. And I didn't want blue lights in my car when the facelifts all have white interior lighting. Well, despite what it looks like on camera, these are a really nice cool white light and I will show you how to install them today. Installing these is actually really easy. The first thing you do is pry this piece out with the included tool. This place has the most room to pry so put it in there. There you go, that's out. The next step is to remove the switch panel. Same thing, clips only, no bolts. Just stick this tool in somewhere and start prying out, just like that. And underneath, you will find two connectors. Once you're at this point, you'll want to unplug this main connector. Comes out like that. Take the adapter harness, the T-harness, plug it into the factory panel, and plug that into the factory connector. Let's see if I can do this one-handed. And from there, all you have to do is connect your light panel to that wire. Now you're going to have to fish this wire under here, up here. The easiest way I've found to do it is to fish it through this front hole and get it down under there. And the tool I use for that is actually surprisingly simple. Two zip ties. Just tape the wire to one zip tie and start fishing it through. I got the wire taped with masking tape to the zip tie. So the next step is to just start threading it in here. There's not really much in the way, but of course pushing these in here is a bit of a challenge. It might even take you a couple tries, but you can see it's already coming out down there. Ah, there you go. And now, just be careful with the edge of the tape. And you're home free. From there you want to get it taut and try to get it underneath this hook so that you don't push the hook against the wiring too much and then tuck it in. Definitely easier with two hands when you have the ability to lift the handle. Pull the wiring from below just to make sure that it's not in the way and start popping it in. I prefer to pop in the front area first so that you make sure that you're not against this wire. This will take two hands so give me a moment. Now that this piece is clipped in you'll want to connect these two red wires and that's pretty much the end of the installation. However, before you do anything, test them. Make sure they turn on. And if I were you, I'd wrap all of this with harness tape because it'll be rattling around inside your door. I'm going to fold this over and wrap it up like this. I'll show you in a moment. I got this all nicely wrapped up in fabric tape and I tested it and there's one thing you should know about this. These don't turn on, unlike the driver's side, until you turn the car on. So, hard to see, but they are now on. Turn the car off, and even though the headlights are still on, they turn off. So just keep that in mind when testing, or else you might get afraid that you broke something, or you got a defective product. After that, it's as simple as popping this panel back in. Like I said, all clips, no bolts, no screws. Align it. push and you're done for the rear seats is a very similar just darker situation you pop out this entire panel and these pieces are the same as the front seat and if anyone is curious I'm six foot one long legs plenty of space in here in the GR Corolla this is the way I normally have the seat so it's a little bit tighter but if you're not six foot you should be fine in the back seat 
start prying in a corner. There you go. Now you can pull by hand since you have that gap. And that came out real easy. This one has one connector, so do the same thing as before. Pry this out. Let it fly God knows where. Like so. And then start threading the wire through. So same deal here, got this installed, got this wire run. This was a bit more of a challenge than the front for sure. I think that there's some blockage right here, so it helps loosening the screw behind this panel and these two screws. After that, the wire passed in without a zip tie. The zip tie actually got in the way more than it helped. And this folded over and wrapped so that it's nice and short and neat and doesn't get in the way. Time to plug it in. Now that it's all plugged in, just get the wire tucked in here first because it gets in the way. It is a little thicker than it used to be. Line up the clips and you're done. The other door is obviously going to be the same thing. All right, we're done with the install. I'm in the car with the engine running, lights on in the dark, and you can see the final product. These lights are not bright, and they're not meant to be. They are just accent lights, and that's the whole point of them. In a fairly pedestrian interior, this adds a really nice touch driving at night without interfering with your night vision whatsoever. It is about as bright as the gauge cluster at 75%. I am very happy with it. Does it match the interior lights perfectly? No, it's a little bit cooler, which is expected from you know AliExpress products, but it's close enough. It's actually fairly close to the buttons on the steering wheel which is good and it's close enough I'm actually really happy with this and it just adds just a little bit more pleasantry to the interior now that you've seen the final product I'll leave a link in the description to the Aliexpress page where you can buy it I've seen these on eBay with the blue LEDs but not the new white LEDs yet and the white LEDs match our GR Corollas so check out the link to AliExpress and the shipping from this seller was quite fast. I'll talk to you guys later.